Dishy Rishy, what have you done? <laughs> yeah, it was for charity, though. My dad wrote a book. Confessions of a slightly OCD chef with a worrying predilection for zombie games? <laughs> no, it was a cookbook to raise money for Down syndrome. Hey, excellent use of the word predilection, though. I'm actually proud. Mm, still not going to be a teacher. Do you know what? Working errands is all very well, but what happened to your coaching? Well, it's happening, but I have to pay for the training first. And I know it's basically manual work and wasting my brain, and I really should be channeling my energy into a PGC, but... I, I just... wasn't going to say any of that. Mm. Can we have ice cream movies to celebrate? Mm. Hey! You all right? So, Ellis is now a man of means. Meet the new scrapper. Oh, nice one. Yes, so there's no excuse now, seeing as you like a man in a high-vis jacket with a bit of copper piping. <laughs> Are you insinuating that I can only go out with scrap metal merchants? What? No, 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 but you did use the words, go out. Come on, shut up. Listen, Victoria went clubbing a few nights ago, sounded totes hilarious. Mm. Should give me a shout next time. Listen, I am always up for getting messy. Well, not tonight, though, cos we're having ice cream smoothies. Oh, that sounds like the perfect pre-drinks. Tea time, you say? No, you're not invited. Sorry. Well, I'll see you later. What the hell was that? Hmm? What was that? What the... Wait, I'm trying to get you another proper date with her. If you don't ask her soon, she's going to be remarried with three kids and a cockapoo. I'm being casual. Yeah, that's how we do it now. Oh. Dishy, rishy, oh, alert the paps of the dream boys come calling. You think any of this is funny? You were the only thing that was. <laughs> Go on, rub it in. Bob's stupid wool monty has ruined my reputation. The whole internet is mocking me. Rishy, they were laughing with you. Sorry to interject, but have you read any of the comments? I wish I'd said no. He used Ashley's memory to twist my arm. <laughs> stupid man club! Whoa, Rishi? I can feel your blood pressure from here. Cappuccino, please, Rodney, and uh, tea for the dish. Ah, Rishi! Hey. I've just been to the scrapyard to find you. Coffee run. I'm being broken in gently. Uh, why? What's the panic? Come on, tell me before I have to get back to the most boring training on Earth. Brace yourself. Ellis actually asked Victoria out on another date. Hey. Did I? Didn't you? I don't know. Well, well, unless she meant the whole ice cream smoothie thing is a definite, then yes, all systems go. She's coming around for smoothies. What? You, what? No, 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 it's the pub defo. That's what Matty said. How come Matty knows more than me? It, it doesn't matter. The point is, you're keeping it casual approach. Why don't you put yourself a date? Hey, this is brilliant. Now, all you have to do is remember our little mother-son chat, yeah? I've got this. Don't worry. Be chilled. <sighs> chilled? Chilled is me and Paddy and our scruffs eating dirty kebabs. Wouldn't have got you like that. Mmm, no. <laughs> Yours was the most unchilled dating I've ever encountered. But it worked. <gasps> Vic is giving him a massive chance here. If he doesn't put the effort in, he's gonna blow it. Yeah. It'd be great for her as well. Exactly, which is why we need to intervene. Uh, no. <laughs> no way. No. He'll accuse me of, like, trying to run his life like with the PGCE. No, he won't. He will not. Trust me. He'll be too busy thanking you for helping him get the girl. Victoria needs a decent bloke. Please, Jessie. 